time to turn this into this. be using an old cabinet that was here in my garage and it was two foot square by almost eight feet tall so I laid out the tools on the two doors so I've got 12 inch wide shelving and it's gonna be 16 inches tall so each shelf inside the old cabinet was 24 by 24 so I'm gonna rip it down to 16 inches which is the height of my uh, power tool cabinet and then got them in half. They'll roughly be 12 inches each. Do that next. So now that I have the main carcass cut out, I'm gonna glue these pieces on and I'm gonna hold them in place with inch and three quarter finish nails because that's just what I have in my machine right now. And then I'm going to go in with screws pre-drill and screw so it has a better hold. This is just gonna hold until the glue dries. And I'm gonna put the screws in after the screw drives. So hopefully, potentially, things won't move on me. Let's glue it.
see. I'm going to attach <coughs> the smaller piece to the carcass with the beveled hanging down. And then this piece will be attached to the wall with the opposite beveled. This being the wall, so the, the cleat will rest in there and I'll show you that. Lucky for me, I can see the nails and know right where the studs are. And dirty but that's all right I got plans on painting it I might do a yellow and black kind of go with uh, you know the tools I painted the shelves a yellow to go with my theme here. See if this one works in this one. Here's the notch that I made for the saws. Go here. Find out.
So now I want to make something that's going to fit right in here and go alongside my chop saw. So when the dust comes out, I just want it to guide it into this bucket I have on the bottom here. You can see that. And that's what I have scraps and it'll be, uh, you know, keep all the sawdust and stuff in there too. I don't know, is it a good idea to have sawdust and scrap wood together? I don't know. We're gonna find out, but I want it all kind of in one location so it'll be easy for me to pull out and I can just kind of go through it and burn it and whatever we do here. So now let's figure something out for that, I guess.
So there you have it, my miter station. Kind of uh, at a good stopping point. I'm not going to say it's completed because I think I'll add more to it. And I also have three empty spaces here as you can see. I could put more shelving, I'll find something else to put in here. Maybe I'll even do a battery charging station in one of these cubby holes. Uh, pretty happy with the way this build is gone. The shop is finally coming together. This is something I've been meaning to do for a long time. And I'm hoping my idea will work. I chose not to paint the inside of this, uh, just to keep it a little brighter, I guess. But I'm hoping that everything will go in and fall right down to this bin right here. Well, I'll have scrap and dust and I'll just throw it in the burn pile when it comes time to empty it. Um, got storage up here on top, as you can see as well. All my DeWalt tools. I'm kind of a DeWalt freak. Uh, it's the first power tool I ever got was a drill. Uh, I no longer have it because it was a 12 volt, but I've upgraded to the 18 volt a long time ago. And now it's going to be... Uh, time to upgrade soon, maybe to the 60 volt DeWalt, if you're out there. How many subscribers do I have to have? So that's it. I hope you guys maybe got a little something out of this and help you organize your garage. Uh, the project is going to keep going. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button right now. Maybe even hit that thumbs up. Don't hit the thumbs down. There's no reason for thumbs down. I don't even know why people do that. Anyways, I'm Brady Woodworker. See you guys. I'm out.